Welcome J- to the VIP section. J baby y'all. J baby You disagree with the decision, I understand. You think Lil Wayne's supposed to be up there, I understand. I got that part. I'm talking about how you talking about Jay-Z. How you talking about Jigga? How you talking about Ho? Really? No, no, what you've accomplished. Who else you gonna get in the beef with? Little Kim, Mariah Carey, Cardi B, Gucci Mane. I'm just looking at all of this stuff. Taylor Swift. Every time we turn around, Demi Lovato. Every time we turn around, it's something, Nikki. You disagree with the decision? You disagree with the decision? You got to talk about the brother like that? And why are we talking about Jay-Z like he's some damn sellout or something? Need I remind y'all? All the hip hop artists, all the R and B people that have been performing at at Super Bowl halftime over the last few years since he's been involved since 2019. Did I not read some of these names to you? The Who, Coldplay, and people like that. You know how hard it is for a black man to pull off. What? And, um, so I heard, I heard a whole lot. Um, but. You- Y'all, y'all are amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So. Like I said, it broke me, and I'm just trying to put me back together, but my God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family, just my homies on sports television, everybody repping me. I really appreciate that. I really do. I feel like I let all of y'all down by not getting that opportunity. But I'm working on me, and I'm working. So. Lester, okay, Lester. Yeah. We're going to keep an eye on you, Lester. Yeah. Nigga said I couldn't be on the 7 a.m. Pooty Tang. What poppin' on us, We rock with you. Yeah. Just don't troll and get crazy. Monster, thank you, but that's niche. Wayne ain't been the same since Chuck Carter won. Hold on yeah, for a second, bro. When Fox pull up, there's gonna be some shit in here this morning. I can see it already. I can see it already. Charles, Jay don't want Wayne doing that. Doing that. As, yeah, I know. The one thing Ho hasn't done. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Thank you, Charles. Charles, me and you always here, man. That's a fact. Even though me and Hudson, we good money. But Hudson, you got to feel us. I just said that. I just said that. That's what the real issue is, I think. Ho will never get that shot to do that. And then, now that he took this position, he definitely not going to get that shot because he can't throw himself in there. You know what I mean? Onyx Gang, what's popping? He said, they say you talking facts, Charles. They say you talking facts, Charles. Charles the second king. Facts. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. they fuck with you, Charles. Charles, it seems like you went viral ever since you said that you recreated the new word. Ab work. Give these chicks that ab work. Shape. That's a fact. So, Charles, Shape. you came in a little late. Let's go back to the little Wayne shit. I threw it up on the page this morning. I heard. I heard a whole- uh, um, but y'all, y'all are 
fucking amazing. It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. And, and that's an amazing reality. So, like I said, Hold on for a second, y'all. Lester, we're not going to let you talk to the Shea babies like that. You're not going to talk to my babies like that, my dude. That's a fact. You got one more time. You disrespect the ladies, you going to Africa. That's a fact. Shea baby. Yeah. We're back together, but... My God, have you all helped me. Thanks to all my peers, my friends, my family. My homies on sports television and everybody. Nah, Lester, you good. I'm just saying, respect the ladies. I don't care if you thug the dudes out, but you're going to respect the ladies. We're not going to do no diddy this in here, man. We're not. And if you disrespect my niggas, definitely the members, you definitely out of here. Shout out to Monster. What's popping? It made me feel like shit not getting this, this opportunity. And when I felt like shit, you guys reminded me that I ain't shit without y'all. Good looks, Michelle. I'm just saying we gonna respect the ladies. That's it. Let, like, yo, like I told y'all before, I told y'all this a thousand times. If I could have a whole lobby full of ladies, I would. Because they don't hate, they don't troll. They show love. So I'm gonna I'm make sure that y'all not gonna disrespect them. We're not gonna call them no hoes, no bitches, none of that. We on some Tupac shit in here. Facts. So... Like I said, it broke me, and I'm just trying to put me back together, but my God. Look, he's saying it, it, he trying to put himself back together. Yo, I'm telling y'all, that hurt my, that dude, man. I think he had that kind of plant. Like, y'all, I know they gonna pick me. Yeah. He's like, I know they gonna pick me. That's sort of like having a hit all year. Number one record on the radio. And then they don't pick you for the summer jams. There's like something up with that. You know what I mean? That's like imagine like during. That's like imagine Kendrick Lamar not performing at Hot 97 Summer Jam this year. Okay, let's start from here. I need y'all to get in them comments right now. I need y'all to get in the in right now. This is where it, it really starts from here. Is Wayne in the top five or top ten list? Because the reason why that plays a major part, if I'm the Super Bowl. I don't want niggas on my stage that's not in the top 10 list. I don't want niggas on my stage just because they have a hit right now. You guys got to understand, Super Bowl, we went over the list yesterday. The people that they had in the Super Bowl, their hits are from like 10 years ago, 20 years ago. These are called elevator music. Repeat it with me. Elevator music. This is like when you know, when you get in the elevator and you're with an 80 year old and a song comes on. These are the Super Bowl niggas. I sort of feel like, okay, this is how I, why I really feel like it's a really. A lot of hate here. Why Kendrick? That's all I'm saying. It's like a smack in the face. You know Lil Wayne is Drake's man. Why Kendrick? That's all I'm saying. You know that's his man. You know what I mean? That's like book... He straight booked the ops. Shit, baby. 
Nigga, book the ops. That's crazy.